Hi folks, I just returned home from work, so hashtag no filter. <laughs> I just wanted to make this quick introduction for this new coming video to show you the yeah the end result of the last one, which is this year. And I really, really, really like it. I'm going to hover over it with the camera on the um, working table because the light is better there. But I just wanted to yeah show face in front of the camera again. So things are pretty slow on my end, um, as you probably have noticed on my channel. So we still haven't really figured out how we progress. So Patrick currently has a different shift than I do, so we do not really see that often and figure out things, um, how we can make all this work. Um, didn't have a chance to pour anything yet, but I think it will come this weekend that he can make his first ones. And as I promised to do more painting, those take a lot, lot more time than the pouring does. So, as you can imagine, perhaps. But, I have, I have been busy. So, I did a couple of projects, as I probably have told already, or at least I have shown it on Instagram. I did a huge, huge watercolor painting of our most favorite anime series. Not the most favorite, one of those. Which you will see in the coming video as well. I will make a quick sped up version one for those who just want to see this and I'm going to make a what did this guy do step by step video for it as well. So for those who want to follow along and probably are into animated series as well. And besides this one I am working on this guy here which uh, still is the first and second layer so there still is a lot more to come to with this painting which I hopefully go finish this weekend as well. At least I hope. And besides that, more is to come as well. So in the transition zone phase I'm going to make some pours as well as I do today. Going to play around with some techniques that I have not done for quite a while, so probably you haven't seen it and you might like it, so I hope at least. And other than that I will make these little housekeeping note videos every now and then just before my pouring videos to keep you updated what is to come and what projects are at hand and I'm going to begin or complete in the near future. Especially as this year was a dedicated year for me to teach you a bit more so help you with projects you struggle and therefore I will of course need your input what you will need help with. A couple of you already responded to my last video and sent me some comments in the comment section what they are struggling with, so I'm going to make projects around them. But yeah, if there is something in particular that you are playing with, having trouble with, want to see it done perhaps, or perhaps my approach to things, um, yeah, leave me down in the comments. It shouldn't be projects that are really urgent for you to be done, so it will take a while until I can figure out everything and uh, make the videos for this, and, you know. But if it's something in general you want to see some guidance or whatsoever in, um, let me know. So this year I want to make this video about helping you grow, um, having me grow as well, so whenever you have any tips and tricks to upgrade me, let me know as well. But this is enough of the introduction, it's already four minutes into the video, I do not want to bore you and head over to my working desk, I show you the last yeah, painting, which is right, and then I'll make the new pour for today. Hope you enjoyed, see you in the end, and now the voiceover. Bye! So this is the dried version. It dried much more powerful than I imagined, so in the red face I thought about actually painting something over it, like flowers or flower arrangements, but this idea is totally gone now. Because it's too strong color-wise, and I actually really like the design and the look. So this was the total look. Now let's go for the design and uh, close-up, which I will just film over. This canvas, as you probably see on some areas, has gotten some texture. It was actually the third pour that I did over this one. So I didn't like the first one, I poured over it. I didn't like the second one, I painted some gesso over it and make this pour, which I love. So I'm going to keep this one. I really do not mind these cells here. I actually do not normally like cells when they pop up on these designs, but here they are pretty nice. Also on this area here they are pretty, pretty sweet. I love those here. I'll give you a close-up. 
they look pretty fancy. Also this area, pretty cool. And something you might not see on the video is good today because I have no sunlight, but at least this light can give you some of the shimmer of the gold and the copper metallic, which is just stunning. So if I had sunlight, which I haven't seen for a couple of days now, um, this would have looked even cooler. So here is oh, here. <laughs> here is a ribbon of gold, which looks pretty cool. And here are these swirls of gold and metallic copper heading over there. So there is so much lacing, which you cannot really see, but I hope the camera at least can catch it at some point. So, but this was enough praising this result. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one, if you like it as much as I do. I think I'm going to give this one a resin cover or a varnish cover and put it on Etsy. Or I put it on Etsy and let the buyer decide. Probably this one. We will see. But now let's come to the pour that I have in mind for today. So, and here we go. I have arranged everything that I need for today's pour. Guess what? Stick nature colors. So, pre-mixed gold, pre-mixed phthalo cyanine blue. Um, I grabbed some of the turquoise metallic that I'm pre-mixed for Patrick and some of the white. So those are the colors that we are going to use for today. Canvas 40 by 40 centimeters, a pouring cup. And the project at hand is something that you can do when you have a pour that didn't really turn out as great as you hoped. If you ever had something like that. And this meant especially when you have a pour that has some flaws around the corner and edges. Because this and this video is going to be a two-part video. So if you watch this video right away, you have to wait until Saturday or so to see the final result part or second part of the video. If you're not watching this video right away and watched it later, you can skip to the next video afterwards and you will see what I did. Because to finish off this project, we will have to wait until it's dry, which may take until tomorrow. And then we're going to use this one. This is PVA glue. And we're going to use my dear friend... Gosh, you are heavy, girl. Sandy. Of course, it's a bag of sand. Clever, right? So, we're going to use this for the second part. I'm going to pre-mix this already, so this will be part of this video. But anyways, let's just begin with the pour itself. This will be a pretty random thing. I have no design in mind that I want to achieve. There is no silicone in any of these paints. And I actually do not really care so much about the look that I achieve. Because this is the point for this video, right? We want to cover up things and pretend it was intended. So, for those of you following my channel for longer already, you might have seen this about one year back, one and a half years back. I really don't know. I did a couple of those with um, sand included. In the acrylic pores, not in the resin videos. I of course also did a couple resin videos, including sand, especially the beach scenes and some like that. But this year is something completely different. But it is super fun and it looks really cool when it's finished. So you can do any technique that you like. So you can do a flip cuff, you can do a drag, you can do what else is there? A swipe, whatever. So technique wise, this is totally up to you what you want to go for. And basically you can make the entire canvas and see if it's gorgeous. If it is, you can leave it as is, of course. And if it's not, you can leave a border like on each side or on the, the angles or around everything. Totally up to you. Okay, I think this is enough paint for the project. Just going to yeah, pour this on the canvas. 
and stretch it around a bit. I did not really pay attention to anything what I poured, so there is no design in mind. It looks pretty fancy, so I kind of like this. Um, I can zoom in a bit so that you can see what I mean. So this area is pretty fancy here and not bad, not bad. But you're going to stretch it. And I have no base layer paint around it, so the paint is going to roll over and yeah, we lose quite a bit of anything. But I really love this color palette together. It's gorgeous. This blue, if Taylor blue, which actually looks pretty light, is going to go really dark. So many of you already have seen this. Here probably we need to help a bit. Still a bit more perhaps. This is what I love trip of paint for. It's already it's always a good use somewhere. To have this area covered in something around the edges. Always care for the edges. I must say it looks way cooler than I expected. So already kind of proud of me. Um we will have to let this one dry. I do not really know if I can speed it up drying. So this was not a fresh canvas, it was poured already on. If it's a fresh canvas and you need to speed up things, you can put your canvas elevated, put a ventilator underneath of it or your hair dryer perhaps, and dry it from underneath. So this will work, your paint is not going to crack then, because your paint the water of the paint is going to soak into your fabric and evaporate from underneath due to the heat and your paint is going to dry pretty quickly. So this does not work when you've yeah, dried from above, as we all know. And when it's not a fresh canvas and you have already a pool layer onto it, it's not going to work as great as well. Even when, you know, from underneath. Because the water cannot anymore soak into the fabric. So I will let this one dry and put it aside. So, and this is pretty easy. You just need a whatever container. It should be sealable. So if you don't use the mixture right away and have to wait for the next day or whatever, um, make it sealed so that the mixture cannot start drying already. I will better put this aside and I know I'm clumsy. Okay, for the mixture I think I'm going to film it a bit sideways. You probably don't have the best view on it when it's from upside down like it is at the moment. So give me a second to rearrange the camera. So, new camera angle. Um, so again, as we need a, a yeah, closable container, something to stir the stuff around, your PVA glue and Sandy. She doesn't look like much, but she's a pretty heavy girl. This was a um, sack of 25 kilos of aquarium sand. And aquarium sand because it is super fine. So, so this is what it looks like as a close-up. It's really, really, really fine. So the finest granulation that you can get. It is between 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 millimeters. And it's the best you can find. It is white, which is great because it doesn't color in your mixture. And if you need it colored, you can, yeah, color it in. So just use acrylics and give it some color. But when you use it just as the mixture, as a regular sand mixture, wonderful. So. And when you use more like a regular sand, so the more yellowish ones, um, it always looks a kind of dirty when you use it for artworks. So I would rather use the white version and color it in if needed. And for the mixture itself, you just grab some, some sand about... I measured the same amount of PVA glue. 
like that perhaps and some muscle grease so you're just going to stir everything around until everything is mixed to a consistency of your dreams and the consistency again is totally up to you I'd say so if you want to have some texture in the end so that you have really some bumps on your artwork so really some yeah 3d effect you need to make this mixture a bit thicker so that it really stands when you put it on your canvas don't make it too thin that it is too runny because otherwise you're not going to get a clean edge in the end which you will see in the finishing part of the video so if you have this consistency here this is too runny you will not have fun making this artwork with this consistency but the good thing you can always add some more sand or some more PVA glue if needed and when you close the lid afterwards you can keep this fresh for ages so if you do not work with the sand mixture anymore just keep the lid closed put it aside and whenever you come across it just reuse it and we might have a too thick mixture now so give me a second to mix this no it's kind of okay so this is what it looks like now actually like cooking dough so this probably the consistency you could really use it background is you want to have it on your artwork you want to level it out with a palette knife or something like that and then it should more or less self level a bit so that you have an even an even border so this is probably a cool mixture it's not too runny it's not too thick we will see tomorrow I am going to leave this original color for the moment we close the lid and we are done for today except for one thing you just have to subscribe to my channel click the bell icon to get notifications when my new videos are coming up and also please give me a like for the video if you liked it until this point if you have any questions leave me down below in the video description my social media links are down there if you want to get in touch with me on Instagram or Facebook perhaps or if you have some spare walls to fill my Etsy shop is also linked down there. So see you in the next video. It will be about two days until it's finished. Um, fingers crossed and see you then. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and have a great day. <laughs> bye bye.